The vehicle is either a white or gray four-door vehicle. Again, um, we're hoping to get some more video on this uh, vehicle to help us out. We believe um, we have a pretty good description, but not enough for me to give you at this time. Sounds like a targeted drug hit, possibly. Is that what you're working with? Well, what I'll tell you is <clears throat> we have a gang conflict in this area relative to an open-air drug market, specifically at this location. Right now, we believe it's uh, related to that, but again, uh, if, if this is personal in nature or if it's strictly related to drug market, I can't tell you, the investigation will play that you know out. the ages of the victims, roughly teens or older? Or? Right, so the individual right now that's in Stroger Hospital is, is, is roughly 29 years old. He's a male black. I have two male black victims that were approximately 19 years old, um, again, that were pronounced on the scene. And then do we, you said a group of people. Do we know how many people were outside or approximately? Sir, I don't have the exact number right now, but what I tell you is we believe there was at least four subjects standing on the northeast corner at St. Louis. Uh, when the uh, offenders came out of their car, uh, we know that they ran in multiple directions. I have one that ran north, one DOA victim that was northbound on St. Louis. And then I have uh, one subject that ran eastbound on Ohio uh, that, was, uh, that was fallen approximately a quarter block down. Do we know it was a, a high-powered weapon, or was it? Do we have any idea yet? What I'll tell you is that there's at least 30 rounds that are on the scene. Uh, what it appears to me to be is, is handguns at this time. Um, but again, until our forensics could get in there and actually look at that, we won't have that information. Do you know if it was more than one gun used? If the individuals had more than were more than one of them shooting, or was it one gunman? When you say uh, I I, I believe right. Gun. I believe right now that we have two gunmen. Um, how many weapons were used, I don't have that, other than that we, we believe that there were two armed individuals that began firing on at least four individuals that were standing on the corner. Can I ask you one more time to summarize briefly what happened? We're live on the air now, if you could just run through the facts real briefly. Sure, let me grab this here. Thank you. Go ahead. Okay, at, at approximately 9.53 this morning, uh, at a, um, we have a vehicle that pulled up and uh, without provocation at least two gunmen got out of that vehicle and began firing at four individuals that were standing on the northeast corner of Ohio and St. Louis. At this time I have uh, three victims, two that were DOA on the scene and one victim that's in critical condition in surgery now at Stroger Hospital. You had officers in the neighborhood at the time, and tell us why. So we, we, we know that there's a gang conflict and an open-air drug market in this location. We've had historic uh, violence in this area. The commander has dedicated uh, v uh, cars to this location, and in fact, they heard the shots being fired. They pulled over a vehicle fleeing the scene. One of them, the vehicle happened to contain one of our victims. So you believe there was one driver and two shooters in terms of offenders? Uh, all I can tell you right now is that we believe that two armed individuals got out of the car, and I don't have how many were in that car, but we do believe there was possibly a driver. And in terms of the victims, the ages you told us briefly? We have uh, two victims that are approximately 19 years old that were uh, DOA on the scene, and I have a, a individual that's approximately 29 years old being treated at Stroger Hospital now. All men? They're all males. And do they have backgrounds? Um, do you guys know? It's too early an investigation and, and I would want the detectives to respond to that for their in investigation. In terms of the vehicle that they, the offenders drove away in, what do you know about? We believe that it's a white or gray four-door vehicle and we're using our uh, SDSC room, our strategic uh, deployment area to look into those specific uh, I have nothing to give you at this time. As soon as we do, we'll get that to you so we can ask the public to help us out. Any information on this, please contact Area North Detectives. Again, you'll see them behind me. They're canvassing right now for uh, witnesses. So any information, please call Area North and give that information to the detectives. Deputy Chief Nicole, just to give us some context, how lucrative are these corners for these gangs? That there would be, you said this is a known open air drug market. How lucrative is it? have a corner and why would there be a beef like this between gangs and going on for so long? 
We do know, the, the way I can respond to that is, part of uh, gangs' uh, way to make income is through the use of selling narcotics. And it's very uh, uh, localized, uh, sometimes block by block. So one of our uh, biggest challenges in this area is to ensure that when we see these conflicts arise and we see these uh, uh, tensions grow that we have to jump on that right away. That's what we had here. This has been a historic uh, location where there has been conflict over these uh, open air drug markets. And so um, it's lucrative enough that individuals, let me put it this way, we have individuals that are losing their lives over the selling of narcotics. Yeah, unfortunately right now I don't have any of our pods or anything that has that information out. The job of the detectives now is to locate that video and as soon as they uh, uh, find it necessary, they're going to contact you and we'll get that information out to you. Okay? Any arrests yet? Thank you. Excuse me? Any arrests yet? We, I don't have any information on uh, the offenders or, or their descriptions at this time. So right now we're just in the beginning part of that investigation. Okay, thank right, you thank guys. You